Hey everybody, how you doing? Mark here, standing with Dell's bike, Otter Chaos. Now, last time I worked on this bike, I put a new battery in for Dell, and when I went to go start it, man, it was hard to start. And then once I did get it starting, once I popped a little gas to it, it died. Started it back up, let it go for a little while, hit the gas a little bit, died. So, what I want to do, now in that video I said that I was going to just go get some sea foam and put it in the tank and run it through and let the sea foam basically clean out the carburetor. Well, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I've decided that um, this is actually an issue that these bikes have, these 650 V-Stars, and that if you let them sit for too long, the uh, jets will clog up. So, I actually want to take the carburetor apart. I'm not taking it out. I'm just going to remove the bowls, take out the the injectors and clean them. That's all I'm going to do. I've seen a lot of people take off the tank. I'm thinking there's a way I can do it without taking off the tank. The carburetors are in a decent position. Might be a little more difficult than uh, than it would be if I took the tank off. But I really don't want to take off the seats and take off the tank and I'll do, undo all the hoses and all the electrical and the speedo and all this other stuff just to take the tank off. So I'm going to do it the hard way and just take apart the bowl of the carburetors, get the needles out or the injectors, whatever you want to call them, and I'm going to do it that way. So it might be a little difficult to film this way, but that's just the way I'm going to do it. So. Left side of the bike, carburetors are under the tank. Let's go. Okay guys, before I start, I just wanted to say I am not a mechanic, okay? You're just watching me have a go at doing this. I've never done it before. This is a friend's bike. It's not my bike, but he's not paying me to do it or anything like that. So, you know, take from it what you will. I am not an expert. I'll try to answer your questions if you have any, but if you have major problems, you know, go talk to your shop, okay? All right, so first thing is, here's the gas tank, of course. I got my uh, petcock already in the off position. Here are the bowls for my uh, carburetor. So let me get you a little closer so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. All right, the first thing I want to do, I think, is to get the... Uh, gas line out of the way so just unpinch it there get a little rag because some gas is going to come leaking out all right all right there we go so there's all that now the next thing i want to do is these screws right here are actually your um bowl drain screws okay the fluid will actually come out of this area right back here and right there on this one so we're gonna loosen up those screws and it looks like it's a uh, cross mix so yeah you can get a phillips in there or you, um, they've also cut all the way across so you can get a standard screwdriver on there as well that same towel i'm just going to take it stuff it underneath where that little valve is, or that little pipe. Yeah, now it comes. There's not gonna be much there. And I don't need to take it all the way out. I just gotta crack it open. I'll do the same thing on this side. Uh oh, that one wants to fight me. Yeah, that one wants to fight me. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up pulling off um, the bowl on this one, and the gas will come out when, when I get it loosened off. Okay, so these are a three, three millimeter Allen head. No. 
I would say that these have not been changed or opened <laughs> in ever. Okay, that one did pop open. I'll do this one. These are the ones that are going to give me the most problems with having the tank in the way, but I should be able to get it. Okay. So I don't know if you can actually see where I'm going with these or not. Okay. Now I want you to notice the Allen screw that I'm using. These are multi-angled Allen screw uh, nuts or uh, things, wrenches, Allen screw wrenches. And it's so I can, so when you're going in, it doesn't have to be at a perfect angle going in. You can be off a little bit and it still works. Okay, so there was the top left screw. There's the top right. Just can't get it to come out of the hole. There we go. All right, so there's my bottom right. Now the big thing too, I guess when you take it out is make sure that you don't do anything with the floats. Because the float has to sit in a particular way To keep the uh, level so you do not want to really mess with and do anything with the float my cover off they were a little bit of a hassle but i got them out um, i see a little bit of stuff down here but it's not horrible so i'll just put that in my little bucket and get it ready for cleaning all right now what i want to do i want to take out this jet and this one back here i'm going to take out the tall one first oh, come on now okay there we go took a little more muscle than I wanted it to and that's really that is really in there too <laughs> all right so I can kind of see through that one there so that one's not horrible. It's not great, but it's not horrible. All right, I don't know if you can see this one or not because of the float in the way. But there's another, another uh, pilot screw. Now basically, one is a uh, an idle screw and the other one is your main jet. And I think that's what I'm taking out now is the main jet. Oops. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can get you to get the camera to focus on here, but I don't think I can. I am not really seeing anything as far as an opening so this may have been actually completely clogged so we got to clean it out okay guys so basically I'm just gonna spray this down technically I probably should have taken out this too because I think carb cleaner can actually be corrosive to two rubbers and stuff so there's that Try to spray it into there. Spray it into here. And I'm actually gonna let it sit in that liquid. I'm actually gonna prop this up with the lid. So, basically, so all that liquid that I just sprayed, those uh, needles 
are sitting in there just soaking away. I took off the the rubber o-ring just trying to feel it see if it's see if it's okay feels a little gritty doesn't really feel smooth all right guys so i'm going to show you what i'm going to do here i cannot see through this um this one at all so that means there's got to be something clogging it so what i want to do is just stick up wire up in there now this is just a bread tie is all I'm using and yeah I'm feeling feeling resistance all right I got the wire to come through on the other side so that didn't take long I'm just gonna keep on going back and forth trying to break up anything that might be clogging the uh, the stuff on the inside, the port, the hole, whatever you want to call it. Okay, I do see a small hole in there now before it was completely closed off. And like I said, I think this is the main jet and that's why when I popped the throttle, it died on me. Yeah, everybody sits there in their videos and tells you that they ran a wire in to, to open up the hole, but they never actually show anyone actually doing it. So I wanted to show you what's, in what's involved in cleaning out the hole. Now the holes here actually look clean. I can see through those, but it was the main shaft hole that is, it's uh, completely clogged. All right, that is looking actually really quite good now. There we go, got it open. How about that guys? Awesome. Okay, so. Try to get this up into that little hole. Now you have another thing you gotta remember about this stuff. This is just brass tubing, okay? So it's not steel. The uh, This is a lot softer material, so just a nice little snug on there is all you need. And again, sorry if my hands are in the way. I'm gonna try to start this by hand. Might be a little bit easier. Maybe. <laughs> All right, got it. All right, got that started. Now again, nice and easy brass fitting. So it's snug, and then just a little. I mean, that's it. It's not going any further. Okay, so now we get to do the really fun part of trying to put the cover back on. And what I'm gonna do for this, that top one, I'm actually gonna put the bolt in the hole first. Oh, wait, 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 I almost forgot, almost forgot. I took the gasket off and uh, cleaned it up a little bit so I need to put that gasket back on almost forgot that holy cow that would have been an interesting mess having gas flowing all over the place <laughs> all right I cannot tell if that's going in or not. I want to say it is. I think I got it. Oh, I got it. Good. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Now I'm going to get the second one up here. Okay. 
got that one tight. And in case you're wondering, I've already tightened up my drain screw there, so no worries about that. Okay, nice tight on that. I'm gonna go back up to this one. I think I just snugged it, I didn't really tighten it. Okay, now that one's tight. I can put in my last one. Sorry, you guys aren't seeing this too well, are you? You're seeing mostly my hands. All right, got that. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, guys, I think I got you in a, another spot where you might be able to see things. So these were the screws way up here. Those are the ones that are right like, under the tank. The tank is right here. So that one and that one were the worst. Now I got this one. And this one over here and this one here is a standard um, Phillips head so yeah that one there is a standard Phillips head and this one here I cannot see for the life of me okay that is also a Phillips head up here on that one as well but this one here and this one here is going to be the three millimeter so let's see if I can get this on there. All right, let me get my players on there to hold it. Oh, jeez. Okay, I got it though, good. All right, let's try this one here. Come on. Oh. Oops. <laughs> My light source fell. There. Maybe that will be a little bit better. Okay. Oh, crap. That one actually broke off. It broke. It broke the tip of my Allen wrench. Oh, fracking A. I gotta go get a magnet and see if I can pull it out of there. Hold on. Okay, let's see if my little magnet will pull that out. It did. I don't know where it went to though. Luckily, I can still use my tool here. Oh, finally. All right, got that one. Now, I'm going to put my rag here because once I crack this other bottom one, the gas is going to start pouring out of it. So I'm going to just put my rag here. And hopefully, hopefully these last two will be all right. All right, that seemed to crack open pretty easy. There goes the gas out of it. You can see the towel getting wet. There we go. Okay, so I got that Phillips head screw out. I'm gonna work on getting this top Allen screw out. Okay, got that one out. I'll get this bottom one out. Move the rag so you can see a little bit better. Stuff just seeing my hands and a towel. <laughs> Got that bottom one out. All right, now I gotta get this last little. All right, good. A little more fuel dribbled out. All right, here we go. All right. Oops. Oops. All right, so now I'm gonna. Take off the idle jet. All right, so idle jet is out. And then get over here to the main jet. 
I could have them mixed up too. This one here could be the idle jet and the other one was the main jet. <laughs> okay, got that one out. Okay, so same thing. I've just got these sitting down in the uh, liquid down here at the bottom. This one here had a little more grime in the bottom of it. Pull out that gasket there. I did take a wire brush around the other one and cleaned up all the residual crap that was inside of the groove here for the gasket. I don't think I showed that, but I did do it. So yeah, basically just like that. Then I sprayed it down again. Get all that carb cleaner cleaned off of there real quick. I'm just gonna let it sit. Okay, as far as this goes, all I'm going to do is go around there and I'm just scraping with my thumbnails, all I'm using. And I'm trying to get off all that corroded uh, crap that's on there, all that scaly stuff. go there's that and I cannot see through this one again just like my other one yep I can only go so far with it <laughs> so again just sit there and keep on working on it there we go that one busted through okay again this one had a had an opening and I'm just trying to uh, make sure that it is cleared out. See, I like having a little bit of a kink in my wire so it scrubs up against the uh, buildup in there and really knocks it down. So, yep, that's got an opening. I'm just kind of working on this one still. Just making sure that it is as open as it can get. I think you can see there. All right, so yep. Yeah. All right, so I got this one open now. It looks pretty good. Got my rubber gasket all scrubbed down. Like I said, just with my thumbnail, I was just kind of breaking and flaking that, uh, <clears throat> that crusty buildup off. Took my my little wire brush here went all the way around the edge and cleaned up all the crusty stuff around the edge. The inside looks pretty good. I'm not too worried about the inside. And then I've got uh, this little uh, pilot screw or whatever it is. I don't know. But I got that one opened up as well so it all looks good. So let's get it back on the bike. Got it started going up in the hole. The big thing is, is that you don't want to cross thread it or anything either, so. All right, that seems to be going up well. All right, nice snug fit on that. I'm gonna start this one again by hand, I think. I know you're not seeing anything. All right, got that one started. cover on. Okay, I'm going to try to start this one with the bottom. I think I got it in the hole there. Stick the second one up at the top here. Okay, now I'm going to 
put on my little bracket here that was off to the side. Now this is my idle screw. Okay, and then take my other one. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. Excellent. Okay, so now all I gotta do is just put the gas line back on, just like that. Slide the clip down. Boom, there we go. Okay guys, so got everything all set up, I think. Just kind of going through my head, wondering what I forgot. <clears throat> all right, let's try this. the choke and <laughs> I'm nervous excellent excellent okay so it started up just fine uh, as you remember from my last video, as soon as I popped the throttle, it quit. So here we go. Oh, there you go, Dell. I got your bike going for you. So I can do it nice and easy. I can pop it real quick. Just kind of looking down through here. Not seeing any gas leaking, so that means that the seal on the on the float bowl was seated right. So yeah, everything's looking good. There you go. <laughs> excellent. 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 I'm so happy. <laughs> This is stuff I've never done before, guys. It makes me happy when I can do it. I love that. All right, let's uh, turn it off. Don't want to overflow the uh, float bowl and all that. <laughs> all right, well. Well, Del, we can ride. How about that? I got your bike up and going. I still have a concern that that battery that we replaced wasn't the main issue. I'm still concerned that it's your stator or something else, but I mean, the battery is still good. It's firing up. So excellent. I'll get it on the uh, road here in the next week. Just tool around town, make sure that it continues running. Got to get some gas in the tank too. So excellent. Excellent. All right, this is Mark saying thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the road. <laughs>